Welcome back. Today I got another $250 Amazon Custom Return General Merchandise Liquidation Mystery Box. You've seen quite a few of these on my channel in the past few months. They're a lot of fun. There's a lot of really good stuff in these boxes. For the general merchandise, like what this is, it can be electronics, toys, home goods, sporting goods, tools, pets, housewares. I've gotten out some gold in these boxes, like gold jewelry. You can get watches. The general merchandise boxes are really a lot of fun to go through because the mysteries in these are crazy and anything. And anything is possible. Just don't drop your box. Don't drop your product like I just did. Luckily, there's a box next to this that, that caught the box for me. <laughs> Almost had a freaking disaster there to start this video. Hopefully, the top of this box, there's some good stuff poking out at us. Let's see. Oh, I see some Lego. I see some DVD. I see a pair of Ray. Okay, nice. This box, honestly, looks pretty good to start with right there. You see a few things in there that kind of like catch your fancy? I do. I'm gonna do those Ray-Bans first. What do they look like? Right on top, some Ray-Bans. We had a pair of Ray-Bans in, in a previous liquidation box, and I think we already put them on eBay and sold them for like 50 bucks. We got another pair of, this are, these are the Ray-Ban polarized glasses. The last ones I don't think were polarized. Let's see what these look like on me. Those look good on me. <laughs> Where's my phone? I gotta get a little glance at myself in the phone, see what it looks like. Let's see. Ah, oh, that looked too bad on me, I guess. They're too small for my head, actually, because you can see how the earpieces don't go don't go far enough. I have kind of a large head. Those are nice though. Ray-Bans, still got all the stickers attached to them. I guess you can say like tried on one time by me. Maybe by the original person that bought them too, might tried them on. But these are the Aviator sunglasses. Like I said, we just sold a pair, I think, let me check my eBay really fast. I think we sold them for, I think it's like what, 40 something like that? Oh no, we, we sold for $45. For 45, they came in the original pouch and everything. They look very similar. But those were not polarized. These are actually Ray-Ban polarized. So these, honestly, if those went 45, I bet you these would be like 50 or 60. I won't be surprised. These, honestly, are probably around 60 bucks because they're polarized. Polarized kind of makes them a little bit more pricey by a, a little bit, but those are nice though. Starting off, some freaking Ray-Ban sunglasses. Can't beat that. Ooh, is that a knife right on top? I'm a collector of knives. Which kind of knife we got? Brand is KAI. Nice has a nice knife to it, or not knife, nice handle to it. Feels like a good knife. Let me do the whole flick thing. Oh yeah, I like that. This knife is going to become business use. It'll become a business use knife. I say most of the knives in my knife collection are actually from pallets. I keep them all, and actually I do use them for business. You see me use all these knives in videos. So just for fun, I actually looked on eBay to see how much it sold for. And um, I might not be keeping this knife. It looks like it might be kind of pricey. I guess the brand on this thing is called Zero Tolerance, ZT for short. I was looking on eBay solds for this actual knife. Actual sold listings. The brand is called Zero Tolerance. Model number for this knife is CPM 20 CV. Actual sold prices, $140. $200 for this exact same knife. There's a 163. This is just within the past week. So what was it? The high one was like, what was it? 200? The low is 140, right? So you can say on average, maybe 160 bucks for this knife. Will I be keeping this knife now? I don't know. That's kind of expensive. I don't know if I can validate actually keeping this knife for that expensive of price. I'll set it aside, I'll, I'll decide later. I'm not going to use it in this video now, because <laughs> just in case if I do sell it, I don't, because it doesn't look used. I, it costs like 160 bucks right there. I have to, I'm going to do some deep thinking if I'm going to keep that or not. <laughs> it might be too expensive to actually keep. Okay, let's get back to this. 
Here we got a Lego set. We got Lego Avengers Iron Man versus Thanos. Legos. And it is still factory sealed, all four sides. Box is not damaged at all. It's in fantastic shape. This should sell pretty easily, pretty quickly. Let's look at it on eBay. This sells for around 20 bucks. Of course, 20 bucks plus shipping for this for that Lego set. So that's not a bad item right there. Take that, take that. Let's see. Pull this thing out. It's right there on top staring at me. I have no idea what this thing is. Like a mystery box. Oh, we've got a fishing reel. Some of these can be crazy expensive. The brand is Cast King, it says. Oh, hold the phone. This might be one of those crazy expensive fishing reels. I gotta look this thing up. Yeah, like I said, some of these are very, very expensive. Some, not all, some. It's so looking on eBay. For this white one, the Cast King Crixus bait casting reel. There's a 45, 45, 45, 54. 45, oh, it looks like it's about $45 reel right there. So it's not crazy expensive, but that's a good item. And uh, springtime's right around the corner. And fishing season will start back up here in, in the Midwest. That'll sell pretty quickly. What we got next? Oh, another knife. Nice. We have a mossy oak knife that's got 550 cord around the handle of it. We just sold some mossy oak knives on eBay. They sold pretty quickly, like pretty easily too. So I'm not finding some eBay. It looks like we actually haven't listed them yet. I had a couple of these knives. I think they're about 30 bucks a piece though for the mossy oaks. So if I remember correctly, I could be off that, but I think they're around 30 a piece. Okay, next item. We have, oh, this could be some good. We have a brawn. The whole box is like in Japanese though. Like the whole box is, except for the word brawn. So times like this, you gotta make sure that it is not a bootleg. It doesn't look like it. Looks like it's just like a, possibly just a Japanese version of this item. But the actual thing is called a Braun Silk Expert. It looks nice in the package. And look this thing up. Some of these can be crazy expensive, like these items, like the personal care items. I've sold some in the past for like $100 and up. A little bit closer. This is not used at all either, but it is the Silk Expert Pro 5. And it looks to be, like I said, honestly, like, like new condition. And on eBay, in used condition or pre owned, 170, 135, 160, 200, 140, 160, 172, 180, 180, 190, 200. I, I'm looking at like around 200 bucks with best offer for this item. 200 bucks best offer. That's what I'm looking at right there. Nice item right there. That paid for a huge chunk of the box. Let's see, next we have a US Polo Association watch. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, it's still like, it's like tied down with like a, uh, what's those ties called? Like the plastic ties. It's actually tied down inside of it. Is there a barcode I can scan? No, I don't see a scannable barcode. But you see how it's like tied down? You have to like cut it in the back to actually take the watch out of it. And there's no scannable bar. I mean, there probably is, but it's in there. But this kind of a watch in the box, obviously it's still brand new. It's never been out of the box yet. I'm thinking maybe 30, 40 bucks in that range. Just from past experience selling watches. I could be off on that though. Huh, is this a slingshot? It is. We have a slingshot. <laughs> we've got a slingshot i've never owned like an actual like a professional quality slingshot this is a slingshot by daisy use carefully just think if we were kids if i had something like this man i could have gotten in a lot of trouble when i was a kid it sells new on amazon for 10 bucks on amazon so ebay honestly that probably go into like our first garage sale of the year whenever we have it here in early uh, spring. Oh, that's awesome right there. 
DC Comics Unlimited Injustice Batman. That's awesome. I haven't seen this Batman for a long time. It has like a, like dust on it from being like in like a warehouse for I think a few years. Let's see if I can find this on eBay. Looks like new in the box. It's around twenty bucks. So it's not crazy expensive. So not bad item. Very odd that's in a pallet thing though. An older item like that. Ooh, we got a Kershaw knife. This is like the box of knives. Ooh, what kind of knife is this? Knife for the belt. Kershaw's a good knife. This knife right here I'm using is actually Kershaw knife. It's a nice knife. Model number 4007. No usage marks on it at all. It's a nice knife. Here's a barcode. I'm just going to scan the barcode a little bit faster. I'm going to scan it on Amazon and see what they're selling for on that platform. Because like, you can use like the the barcode scanner app portion of it so on amazon this new or this knife sells new for 28 dollars and 40 cents so 29 bucks on amazon so ebay is probably gonna be about what 20 bucks plus shipping in that range so not like a super crazy knife this pocket knife i think this was like a 50 dollar knife maybe 60 but i kept it for business use kershaw is a pretty good knife i think personal opinion We've got a Pile Compact Bluetooth Amplifier. I got something pretty cool right there. Might have some decent value to it. It's in there. Okay, so on eBay, in like used condition, open box item, this item sells for 60, 55, 60, 40, 75, 45, 65, 70, 70. So I'm looking at like $70 best offer for that. Not too bad. $70 best offer. Here we go. We've got a phone case for an iPhone 11 Pro Max. Brand is Zizo, maybe? <laughs> like a off-brand. This box is like really dirty. It needs clean. It's been like a warehouse for a while. But phone case, like 20 bucks. Not anything crazy. Oh, oh, it fell out of the box. Let me get this out there first. Uh, we have a wall lithium trimmer. I'll keep that in the box. Um, if this thing is used, we have like professional like barber cleaning products here that my wife actually cleans these. Professionally clean like how like the barbers do, like the same kind of chemicals and stuff. This sells no Amazon for 62, so even used like 30 bucks for that. Okay, let me get these out of the box. We have some more Samsung Buds. I just sold a pair of these for $45. They're in there. These things sound fantastic. They're excellent quality. And I I think I've got two pairs on, on eBay right now that's for sale. These sound fabulous. For the price point, the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus sound really, really good for the price point. These rival, honestly, Bose, they, they rival the Apple AirPods. They sound really, really good. And they're like on the cheaper range of like earpods too. Looking for if you're looking looking for a a good pair of, of like earpods for a lower price, look at the Samsung Buds Plus. No joke. They sound really, really good. We got some ink. We got expired ink. So no value there. Let's see what we got. Got some DVDs. Oh, Bloodshot. We just sold this exact same one. 4K with the slip cover and the Blu-ray and the digital. We sold it on eBay for actually 15 bucks. We sold it just literally last week for 15 bucks. Then we have the Saw Unrated. It's still all factory sealed up. And so it sells new on Amazon for $13. So eBay about 10 for that item. Let's see what's... Oh, we got some more of these things. This is that uh, Forever Collectibles. It's like a kind of like a cheapy Lego, but it's not a Lego. It's kind of like a knockoff Lego. It's a soccer player. They're around ten dollars. Not very expensive. We got some records here. Let me pull up the records. Got a couple of those. What do we got? Oh, nice. We have we we got these same two records in the last general merchandise box. The same two records. We have Let It Be by the Beatles. This sells for 40 bucks on Amazon. Then we've got this one, which was 
Maggie Rogers. This sold for like $42, brand new. These are both still factory sealed records. Factory sealed. Um, <laughs> not much to say about them, but combined like 40 bucks. I actually kept the Let It Be from the last mystery box that I got, so I'll be selling this one then. So combined here is around 80 bucks. About 80 bucks right there. That's not too bad, right? Here we go with the Smart Garage the, for Chamberlain. I've sold a lot of these over the years. This thing's about 35, 40 bucks, as long as it's in there and it's in good shape, 35, 40 bucks. Yep, there it is. It's in there. It's a Smart Hub for your garage. Okay, next we have, this thing's kind of heavy, a Pile Stereo Amplifier. Is that still a factory seal? Oh, it is. That's still a factory sealed box, too. Nice. It has a barcode on the side of the box. I can just scan it, see what it sells for new. I'm going to keep that box sealed. Sell it on eBay as, like, you know, brand new in the box. It's it's still factory sealed. And the Amazon price for this thing is $39.99. So it's $40 new on Amazon. So eBay, $30 in plus shipping. Let's see what we got. We got DVD. Oh, we have Stranger Things Season 1 on DVD. Season 1 Stranger Things. Or you can watch it just on Netflix. Which I think that's... Most people watch it. But I guess if you really want the DVD version of Blu-ray, you can buy it or just watch it on Netflix. This is actually Season 1, Season 2, and Season 3 all sealed together. I just, I just realized that. It's all the seasons. So looking on eBay... If for like the package deal of, of season ones through three, these sell on average for about $35 for all three seasons, like this factory sealed box kind of version. Not too bad. Here we go. Next, a Zuki. What's a Zuki? No clue. What is a Zuki? I think it's a faucet. Yeah, hot cold faucet. You know, merchandise like a hot cold faucet called Zuki. It's like $25, not very expensive. In that range, like 25 bucks for the Zuki faucet thing. Let's see. We have another Pile Wireless Bluetooth Public Address Amplifier. And that is still factory sealed also. So I want to open up that box, keep that thing factory sealed. Brand new. We got the barcode. See what it sells for on Amazon. So on Amazon, it sells right now for $59.99, $60. Dollars. So eBay has a little bit of weight to it. So buy about 40 bucks plus shipping. That's probably a good estimate for price. Got two things left. We have a LED fan car stereo car multimedia player. Like a like a touch screen and everything. Might be a decent item. That's all factory packaged up in there still. Keep it in the box. The brand is called Lead Fan Car Stereo. You ever heard of the brand Lead Fan? I haven't. So on eBay, this sells open box item between like 35 and 50 on average. 35 to 50, so probably has $50 best offer then. First person offers me 35, 40, or 45. I'll be, take it, it's yours. Here you go, last item in the box. This is it. Oh, we end on a stun gun. We've we've already had a few of these. It's probably pink. Oh, this one's purple. We've had like I think four of these now. Let's see if this thing more. Ooh. I don't want to hear that in the house. <laughs> um, I'll just keep it off for the time being. <laughs> it has like an alarm thing on it. Wasn't expecting that. But anyway, we got a purple stun gun. Um so yeah, I've been selling those for like 15 bucks a piece. We sell those on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so that's it. That's everything in this box. And then on a freaking alarm on a stun gun. So this box for general merchandise, I think was a fantastic box. This was some good stuff in this box. I mean, <laughs> we even got like a knife that's possibly like a $150 knife. How crazy is that? Man, we got freaking amplifiers and DVDs and Blu-rays and... Brand new records and car stereo. We got a freaking Batman action figure. Um, 
buds, watches, a brand new pair of Ray-Ban polarized sunglasses. This was a good box. I, I think this is going to be like three to four times my money back pretty easily. This is probably going to be pushing, I bet you, that $1,000 mark. I think it's probably going to get close. But you already know down below there will be the potential selling total. So you already know what it is. I'll find out when I edit this video. But yeah, this, this was good stuff. I'm happy with this. So if you want to see some more boxes just like this one, make sure you follow me here on YouTube. Click down below. Hit that subscribe button. I upload on this YouTube channel every single day. I haven't missed an upload in over three and a half years. So if you want to see daily free content, make sure you take just a second. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you again tomorrow for some more free content for you to watch.